welcome to med school today i take a new topic about cystoids in parasito uh, cystoids it is a uh, part 1 the basics about cystoids cystoids are the class and which uh, the class is cystoidea and the subclass is cystoid cystoda and cystoids have a head known as collex and neck and tape like segmented body or pro uh, proglottids here we can the collex here is an example of cystoid here be the collex the collex consists the sacs sacs and hooks and neck the scolex carry the fixation organs because the cystoids are attached to in the stem by suckers and hooks and we can take a cross section here we can see testis here be the testis and uterus here is the uterus ovary axial gland we can see both testis and ovary in same organism that is mostly the cystoids are hermaphrodites we can see gravid proglottid with x gravid proglottid or mature segments head door collex has different shape in various species and it has four sacs which are used for attachment of the parasite to the mucosa of its host some species have rostellum which might be armed with one or more rows of hook the neck is the unsegmented part which connects head to segmented part of the body or proglottids the number and the shape of proglottids differs in various species the length of parasitic cystoids varies from few millimeters to 12 meters proglottids are generated from the neck and they became mature when the pre productive organs are developed inside each of them okay we can see here be the rostellum rostellum and hooks suckers suckers neck the immature neck suckers the immature proglottids the rostellum hooks and suckers are collectively known as collex or head the characters of cystoids <coughs> it is flattened dorsal ventrally so known as platy helminthes also known as helminthes ribbon like shape no body cavity alimentary canal absence segmented into collex neck strobula the majority of cystoids are hermaphrodite as we already mentioned each mature segment has both of male and female organs that is hermaphrodite female organs are more developed in segments at the posterior end of the worm and at last and the last segment contain the only uterus which is full of x of the worm the excretory and genital system the excretory system is made up of flame cells and genital system uh, genital system they are mostly hermaphrodites uh, it can also be uh, cross fertilization as well as auto copulation Uh, takes place uh, auto copulation means uh, one organism um, copulates uh, itself and uh, male organs develops before females functions of collex neck and strobula 
Scolex, it carries the organs for fixation in the form of suckers or grooves, Bothria. As we already said, uh, Scolex or head, it carries the sucker uh, and the grooves and um, and rostellum. Rostellum is sometimes Scolex a retractile protuberance, usually armed with the armed with hoax is known as rostellum. The rose, uh, the rostellum and hookers is helps to uh helps to at uh, fix helps to fix the organism into the host uh, host uh, mucosa and neck actually dividing part of strobile is known as neck and the strobile segments or proglottis strobile is also known as uh, or we can say it as segments or proglottis the immature segments mostly uh, the immature segments are uh, seen in most mostly anteriorly mostly anteriorly and the reproductive organs are not fully developed but the mature segments or gravid segments it contains the reproductive organs are fully developed and having the uterus full of with eggs uh, the majority of tape worms causes intestinal infection but cystoid larvae can invade almost any intestinal organ in man. Many uh, cystoid infections are clinically benign, but some such as tinea solium, the larvae, cysterozoids may cause death in certain countries. Most of cystoid infections are preventable. The life cycle of the life cycle of cystoids, the first group, ciliated larvae hatched out, ciliated larvae hatched out from the eggs after excreted through the feces then pro circoid larvae to pleuro circoid larvae in water there be two larvae present pro circoid larvae to pleuro circoid larva uh, formation will happen in water pleuro circoid larvae present in fish mostly definitely host infected by uncooked meat like fish definitely hook host sorry definitely host infected by uncooked meat like fish uh, then second group uh, only one larva stage it, it, it contain only one larva stage and direct infection occurs okay the third group x in the feces of definitive host activated oncospores example uh, tinea solium tinea sarginata example the classification of cystoids it may be the order the order of uh, cystoids are cyclo cyclophilidia and pseudophilidia the general life cycle of cystoids uh, we can see here we can see the human human eat the uh, raw raw meat eat the our uncooked meat and the muscle the muscles of animal contains uh, yeah, animals contains insist insist uh, food okay uh, the sister releases larva the, and through through the excretion through the excretion or through the feces the egg is uh, released into the environment uh, like in grass it can be attached in grass the animal eat grass with uh, eggs the adult worm matures in human intestine final host the eggs shed in the are released into the environment eggs are eaten by grazing animals or intermediate host uh, the larva forms the larva form insist animal tissue larval forms insist in animal tissue humans ingest the larva meat of infected animal exception are present echinococcus granulosus okay the we can generally said uh, a, a life cycle of uh, cystoids by this i stands for infective stage and 
this D stands for diagnostic stage and humans infected by uh, ingesting ingesting the raw raw or uncooked infected meat and the tinea sagenata or tinea solium and the scolex is attached to intestine look here the adults in small intestine adults in small intestine and through uh, excretion through uh, feces the eggs or gravid proglottids in feces and passed into the environment this is the diagnostic stage we can uh, we can find the eggs or uh, gravid proglottids uh, in feces uh, it is the diagnosis stage and the cattle the cattle or pigs becomes infected by uh, ingesting the vegetation contaminated by eggs or gravid proglo eggs or eggs or gravid proglottids the gravid uh, proglottids contains many uh, eggs many eggs uh, then ongos ongos spheres hatch penetrate intestinal wall and circulate to musculature circulate to musculature this ongospheres uh, develop into sister sister say in muscle ongospheres develop into sister say in muscle this uh, andro this meat is uh, ingested by man uh, will cause the infection okay here is the basic the basic uh, facts the basic uh, contents of sisters uh, visit uh, next topic uh, visit next topic uh, thank you thank you for watching this please sub uh, subscribe my channel thank you thank you all.